The problem with launching a product as a software engineer to start building that side income is that you've got all the tools to put together and maybe you get together a nice landing page like, like I've done here, but you post it and a couple of days pass and nobody's buying anything. Luckily, smart people have done the thinking for us and actually the process for getting those first sales is actually quite well documented and understood in marketing. You've probably heard of a sales funnel before, but you probably actually don't know how to use it because realistically in your nine to five, you're probably just writing code for a business that already handles this stuff in the background. You're not actually having to sell things. So in this video, I'm gonna explain how you get those people actually clicking through and buying and we're going to build the web page that makes that happen but before i can show you how to build it you need to understand what it's actually doing so you've probably heard of the funnel before right and right at the bottom of our funnel is the landing page because just after this point that's where people are going to be buying how do they get to my landing page well i do content creation so let's say for every 2,000 people that watch one of my videos 15 of them might click the link and go to the landing page and then of those 15 probably only one will actually go through and buy let's uh, represent this with numbers top of final 2,000 15 make it to the landing page let's say that makes one sale and you're thinking shit i mean 2,000 people down to 15 down to one that's a 0.0005% conversion rate no calculated needed and you're right that is that's not a great conversion rate and the best way to understand why this is happening is actually I got from a youtuber who does business content creation so using the same numbers let's think about it using James's example so he likes to talk about it as getting girls home from the club so let's fill out the same graph say you spoke to 2,000 girls and we're aiming to get one home well you probably could speak to 2,000 people and maybe one of them would say yes and happy days I mean if you're willing to talk to 2,000 people in a night out then be my guest but obviously that's not the best strategy but what if you ask 2,000 people for their phone number how many could you get then probably a lot because I mean even if they don't actually like the look of you it's a lot easier to say yes to a phone number because there's no actual commitment here you know going home with somebody is there's a lot behind that but just handing over the phone number yeah no problem you could probably do as well as getting about half of the people that you talk to to getting that phone number now <laughs> of those thousand people if the next morning you text them all saying can't stop thinking about you come to my flat now they're probably just gonna block your number and freak out so i i don't think that this would majorly increase your numbers but you know what it probably would by maybe a factor of 10 it's not unreasonable out of a thousand numbers you could get 10 people to come to your place. So what's another layer that we can add? Well, of those thousand numbers, maybe we actually start getting on dates, displaying some value, showing that actually we're not just some crackhead that they met in the club and somebody worth, you know, getting to know. Now, the, lumber, the numbers for this obviously are still going to be relative to how many people we started with at the top quite low. But the point is, is that your conversion rate from a date might be a third a fifth even if it is a fifth you've pushed your number up to 40. this is the way that you need to think about marketing it's about building that journey so that it's not just a cold interaction you're not just some random person being like oh buy my product buy my product and that's why we have systems like having a landing page but you can actually kind of get these two steps in one with you might have guessed it a newsletter and what's fantastic about a newsletter is just how little time it takes to get up and started and the actual quality that you're building with your clients i'm not talking here about you know just sending them spam you wouldn't just you know half ass the date because it's just not going to go anywhere it's not going to do anything but if you can consistently provide people quality it's a win-win one, you're building trust with those people and they might think, oh, you know what? That Matt guy, he's been sending me some pretty good content on the newsletter. I'll check out what he's selling. And then maybe that converts to a sale. And well, I've got the content creation and we built the landing page in the last episode. So let's just go ahead and implement the newsletter. It's only going to take maybe half an hour. But for you watching, probably five minutes, four minutes. So let's crack on. Okay, so we left off with the landing page that we built last time. Uh, I've hidden that because when I push it to main, it's not quite ready. But what will be ready by the end of this is our is our newsletter. But we need a place for them to put the details in and sign up. So let's go ahead and do that. We go back to our Next.js app. What we want is just to send them a link and for them to immediately be able to not see anything else, really. We're just trying to show them the newsletter at this point because presumably in those emails, there'll be a link to the landing page later. So because we've got app-based routing, we should just be able to create a folder called newsletter. And if inside of that, we make a page and let's just throw some boilerplate in there. Now, let's see if this works. So if we go to our website and we type slash newsletter, look at that, straight off the bat, <laughs> the ball is rolling. Now, obviously this isn't, this isn't complete, but to be fair, we're not that far off. All we need for this to be functional is to have a form. And for that, I'm going to use this program here with MailerLite, which I have no affiliation with but the reason i'm going to use them is because their free tier is up to a thousand subscribers which is fantastic for me there are alternatives like mailchimp but a lot of these have most of their features hidden behind a paywall and actually this allows me to have 1000 subscribers which is a lot to begin with but also they have something called their email automation builder my plan for the newsletter is that when you sign up, you'll get 30 days of business related content for software engineers, the kind of what video that you're watching now. To be honest, it'll probably be applicable for you. I'll leave a link in the description at the end. Now, I've gone ahead and built this already myself because it's not really within the content. But essentially, all this is, is if we go to the overview, I need to be careful I don't actually leak anybody's email because I used somebody as a test account to get this working. But what I've done is I've written five emails just to get started. Even though it's 30 days, it doesn't matter because nobody's in the pipeline yet. And essentially what I'm giving here is over time information of, right, you're a software engineer, 
you've got some pretty valuable skills. What are your options on actually turning that into some income on the weekend or after work? And I'm giving examples showing people who are doing similar things and how much money they're making. I talk about my own experiences and I've just put that into five emails just to get me started. And I've got a little automation that says when you click on a form, send an email, wait a day, send the next email, wait a day, send, and so on. And then what happens is, is once people get into this, you know, I can finish doing my 30 days. I've only got 25 more emails to write, but I don't have to write them really until people actually start getting that far through the pipeline. There's no rush. And in order to get that, I created something called a form, which you can see here. It's just taking an email address and a name and letting you know that you can unsubscribe at any time because we don't want people to feel like they're just getting spam. And what's awesome about that is it actually gives me the embed code below. So let's go ahead and throw that on our newsletter page. Actually, before I try that, let's see uh, what ChatGPT says about actually giving us something a little bit more styled with a bit more information. I've told it essentially what I just told you what the newsletter is going to do and let's see uh, what it spits out. Okay, actually having a look at the code, this is just, what's it done? And what you'll get section, a testimonial section. This is too much. So I think the reason it's done this is because for my landing page, it had a lot more. Uh, so let's try and cut that down. Okay, this is pretty nice. Let's see what it looks like with the embed in. So this is literally all it is. I just copy paste the HTML into a script tag and it should, fingers crossed, work. Let's have a look. Ooh, there it is. Nice, perfect. Now, obviously this isn't done. Let's actually give it something a bit more descriptive. I'm going to go have a quick browse of some other newsletter sites and see what they're kind of saying and see if I can get mine closer. Okay, so I actually quite like how this is coming together. So I think if we throw my picture at the top, right now for some reason it's horizontally aligned. Not too sure what's going on there. Something nice and simple with the sign up form beneath. Letting people know exactly what they're getting. Just enough information. There we go. It's all nicely vertically aligned with our form at the bottom. Now, it still feels a little bit empty. So maybe if we have like a little bit more information at the bottom, just what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my uh, chat GPT where I copy pasted in the emails and ask it to just have one more landing page feature. Oh, you know what? That is nice. And it is exactly what the steps were. So it's actually read all five emails because we don't actually start talking about this one until the end. So these two are from the first three emails and then this is from the last one. Is there anything that I would change? Honestly, no, because I think anything more at this point would just be superfluous. And like I said, it's just a newsletter landing page. We're not exactly trying to make a sale here. It's just something free. So let's, uh, let's see what it's like in action. So I've pushed this. I've literally hit push. So the cell has completed building it for me. And if I go to the slash news newsletter page, there we are. Look at that. That's taken exactly 28 minutes from when I started recording. You can bear in mind that I've spent a lot of that time trying to explain to you what I'm doing, not actually just writing code. Now, obviously writing the emails takes a little bit longer, but depending on what you're writing your emails about, I wouldn't recommend that you do business for software engineers, but a niche that might suit you is actually your tech stack. It might be quite unique. There'd be no reason why a week of tips in that tech stack wouldn't do really well for something like this. Now, in the next video, we're going to actually get the mentoring site up and running because right now it's pretty much there. It just needs those final touches to actually get it to be something worth clicking through. So what I'm going to do between this video and the next one is reach out to some of my clients that I've had to get some testimonials that we can include on that page. And while you wait, I'd recommend actually going back through those videos to see how I set up with Vassell, what my plan was, and how I used Daisy UI to really make this as quick to set up as possible. Because in your spare time, you just don't have that much time. And if you want a lot more, I guess, in-depth content, because this is all built for YouTube, so I can't really go into that much detail, as you've seen, I've got a newsletter and it helps you with exactly that. Hopefully it helps. Cheers.